means Valentino, Sean Valentino. Hey kids, welcome to the Showstoppers Over the Top 5, your definitive top 5 source for all things showstopping. The showstopper lifestyle is all about being an international man of mystery. So fittingly, the topic of this week's top 5 will be the first ever top 5 list of the greatest spy movies of all time. I'm your host, Sean Valentino, codename. Showstopper. Welcome to the Showstoppers over the top five. The one man that has the license to stop your show. Number five. We're gonna go all the way back to the 1960s to the man that started it all. Sean Connery as 007 himself. James Bond in Dr. No. And Dr. No was the first ever James Bond film, and it really is the definitive characterization of Ian Fleming's international super spy. Dr. No sets the tone for the entire spy movie genre. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. It has the over-the-top villain, the gorgeous blonde, but most importantly of all, it has the sexy super spy the international man of mystery. So in many ways, it also influences the showstopper lifestyle because being a showstopper is about being an international man of mystery. It's about traveling the world and getting the girl. And who else knows that better than James Bond? Or who else knows that better than Sean Valentino? And Dr. No also introduced us not only to James Bond, but the first ever Bond girl. What's your name? Ryder. Rider what? Honey Rider. The sexy blonde, Ursula Andress. Fitting, because I'm sure many of us have andressed her with our eyes. So international men of mystery like James Bond and Sean Valentino might live a lifestyle that seems outlandish and larger than life for you folks at home. But here's a lesson for all of you. Maintain an aura of mystery and an adventurous mentality. And even you can live the James Bond lifestyle. So with Dr. No, the James Bond franchise was born. Speaking of born, number four on our list is the Born Ultimatum, the third part in the Born trilogy. And I think what makes the Born trilogy so great is that it improves with each installment. And I think in many ways the Born Ultimatum really took the whole genre to a whole new level. Matt Damon as super spy Jason Bourne was just really a perfect characterization of the Jason Bourne character. He was cool, he was calculating, and in many ways he was show-stopping. And it's really a show-stopping film because it takes us across exotic locales all over the world. It takes us through action set pieces one can only imagine. So in many ways, the Bourne franchise are like the showstopper, Sean Valentino. Because I travel the world, go to exotic locations, and really live as a man of mystery. Jason Bourne doesn't have an identity, and the showstopper travels the world searching for his identity. So the lesson is, folks at home, if you travel around the world too, in the end, what you may discover is you. Number three, there's one iconic movie super spy that's missing. Don't worry, if we go on a hunt, we may find him. And number three in our list is the original Mission Impossible. The original Mission Impossible is an update of the classic spy series of the 1960s, but in many ways it gives it a new identity. That identity is in the form of super spy Ethan Hunt, starring the world's biggest movie star, Tom Cruise. And what I love about the original Mission Impossible, in many ways even better than its sequels, is that it's really a classic spy film more than an action movie. It focuses on that post-Cold War espionage. The film has an atmosphere of paranoia, 
which is really an essential element of every spy film. It has a couple of the greatest scenes in movie history, especially the one where Ethan Hunt and his IMF team break into CIA headquarters in Langley. In fact, right now, we're filming this in front of IMF headquarters. I can tell you where we are, but then I'd have to kill you. And while the Mission Impossible series focused more on the team, the original Mission Impossible was really all about Ethan Hunt in an adventure trying to clear his identity. So in many ways, the original Mission Impossible is like the story of the showstopper. Because as I travel the world, living adventure after adventure, in many ways, I'm trying to clear my own identity because I'm a man who's misunderstood. The whole world wants to criticize the showstopper lifestyle, but if you're living a lifestyle of adventure and you're traveling the world, you're really above criticism. So here's the life lesson for you folks at home. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid to go on your own international adventure and you'll find that no mission is impossible. Number two, one of the classic elements of the spy genre is that our heroes are in many ways like a ghost. So it's only fitting that our number two film on this list is Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol, starring the world's biggest movie star, Tom Cruise. It's the ultimate action adventure. In fact, it gives us some of the greatest action scenes in movie history. One of the greatest scenes in film history was Ethan Hunt climbing the world's highest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. And that is the ultimate breathtaking, show-stopping scene. And I would know because I've been to the Burj Khalifa. So in many ways, the showstopper is like Ethan Hunt. There's a slight difference. He was on the outside of the building and the showstopper was on the inside. So let me give you the inside scoop. A life lesson for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. All of you at home should always aim high to accomplish your dreams because this film is really like a travelogue of the showstopper lifestyle. I've been to Russia, I've been to India, and I've been to the UAE. So although folks at home might be going to movies as an escape, the showstopper is here to tell you it should really be an inspiration to escape into your own world of fantasy. Number one, spies are like rogues. They play by their own set of rules. So they're kind of like the showstopper because I've always made my own rules. And for number one on this list, we're gonna go rogue. This might be the toughest decision of my life. What could be number one? What film is fitting of a nation of rogues? like the showstopper. the school children off. Exactly. Right now we're in front of IMF Headquarters Division 6, home of the Impossible Missions Force. We're trying to figure out what number one is. Seems like an impossible mission. Number one is Mission Impossible. Rogue Nation. the world's biggest movie star, Tom Cruise. And everyone remembers Rogue Nation for that show-stopping scene where Tom Cruise literally 
hangs from outside of an airplane, about 5,000 feet in the air. But my favorite scene in the movie is a scene in the Vienna Opera House, because it combines elements of Hitchcock and Kubrick with amazing lighting and incredible cinematography. Not only that, although Ethan Hunt is the main character in the film, it's really Rebecca Ferguson as Ilsa Faust that steals the show. She's like a showstopper. And here's your life lesson for you people at home. Don't be afraid to steal the show. Although Ethan Hunt is the main character in the film, in many ways, the real show stealer is Rebecca Ferguson as Ilsa Faust. Ilsa Faust, in many ways, is like a Bond girl in a Mission Impossible film. We don't know where her loyalties lie. She's sexy, she's intelligent, and she's mysterious. She's not only a show stealer, she's a show stopper. Watching Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation reminded me of the show stopper. Ethan Hunt saves the world while the show stopper changes the world. So here's a life lesson for you folks at home. Don't be afraid to go rogue. Live by your own set of rules, and then you'll be living the showstopper lifestyle. Thank you for watching the first ever definitive list of top five greatest spy films of all time. Be sure to click that like button and press subscribe. I'm your host, the showstopper, Sean Valentino. And be sure to tune in next week where we go from James Bond to sexy blondes. From IMF headquarters, showstopper, out.